Welcome back to Fly With Me. I'm your host, Noble, and today we're tackling one of aviation's darkest myths, the brace position. Some people on the internet claim that airlines teach you the brace position not to save your life, but to preserve your dental records for identification, which is the dumbest thing I've heard since birds aren't real. Let's get this straight. The conspiracy theory says airlines want to make sure your teeth survive the crash so they can identify your body. Because apparently, airlines are run by cartoon villains who want you dead, but also organized about it? Here's the thing airlines actually want. You alive. You know why? Dead passengers leave terrible Yelp reviews. One star. Crashed into mountain. Would not recommend. Peanuts were stale. So let's talk actual science. We've got our friends here. Crash test dummies. Meet Larry, Barry, and Scary. Larry here is doing the proper brace position. Head down, hands behind head, or gripping ankles. Barry is sitting upright like he's too cool for safety demonstrations. And Scary is doing whatever this is. When a plane crashes, and let's be clear, this is extremely rare, the main danger is something called flail injury. Fancy term for your body becomes a ragdoll. In a sudden deceleration, your body wants to keep moving forward at like 200 miles per hour. Physics is rude like that. Look at Barry. His head smacks the seat in front. His neck does things necks shouldn't do. Barry's having a bad time. Now look at Larry in the brace position. His head is already close to the impact point. Less distance to travel means less speed, less force, less injury. His neck is supported. His organs aren't playing pinball inside his body. As for Scary, I don't even know what happened to him. I think he's in another dimension now. The brace position works by reducing the distance your head travels before impact, protecting your neck and spine, keeping your body compact so you don't flail, preventing you from becoming a human projectile into the seat in front. It's literally the same physics as why you wear a seatbelt. You know what else preserves your dental records? Not crashing your face into things. So here's the bottom line. Airlines don't want you to die. They want you to survive, fly again, and buy their overpriced sandwiches. Dead people don't buy sandwiches. It's just bad business. The brace position is literally just physics. Boring, life-saving physics. Be like Larry, don't be like Barry, and definitely don't be like Scary because I'm pretty sure he's phasing through reality right now. If you enjoyed this debunking, smash that like button, subscribe, and let me know what conspiracy theory you want me to tackle next. Flat Earth? Moon landing? The conspiracy that airplane peanuts are actually good? Until next time, stay skeptical, stay safe, and for the love of physics, assume the brace position if your flight attendant tells you to.